What's up guys? Welcome back to Backroom Horror's channel. We hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. And this is going to be um, something that we do every year going forward. Absolutely. We did it last year. It's time for our Naughty Slash Nice Christmas Haul 2020 edition. So what is a naughty slash nice haul for people that are new here? What no, no one knows what it means. But it's provocative. No, but, but, yeah, that's gets right. Gets the people moving. That's right. <laughs> no, guys, this is a basically just um, you know, if you've been naughty or nice, you still hope to get a haul. You still get something. something. And um, you know, here at Backroom Horror, we love horror. We love cinema, and uh, we tend to get a lot of movie-related items for Christmas because. And a surprising amount of horror items for Christmas. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's it like Halloween on Christmas. It really is. But um, we just want to take a moment to show you some of the stuff we got. And um, we'll go ahead and tell you in the comments, drop some of the stuff that you got. That way we can know what your naughty slash nice haul was. That's right. But um, we'll start off with you, Luke. What's something that you'd like to show? Friday the 13th, PJ Pants. Those are awesome. These are really cool. They are. You know, you got the... Hockey mask and is that F thirteen or thirteen? Let's see. It looks like a F thirteen. That, yeah, that, that's really dope, right? It, I love them. These man. are going to they feel of, really good. Look, these too. are going to be clutch this winter. Absolutely. My first gift that I want to show off comes from uh you, me. Yeah, you know, I've got to be honest. This past year, I've noticed all year, fright rags. Having maybe the best horror hat game in the 100%, biz. 100%. <laughs> I agree with that. And there's so many of them I've liked, but there's one in particular that from the moment I saw it, I really wanted this. And um, I just, every day I was like, man, I'd, I'd really like to get that. Never actually thought I'd get it. But this dude, he knew how bad I wanted it. Opened up. knows what's up. And I got this Jaws hat. Look at this. This thing is weathered. It is made to look like it actually came from 1977 or so. Uh, Amity Island, 1975. Got the little Jaws patch on the side. This thing fits like a dream. I just, it's its my new favorite hat. So there thank you. you. But yeah, love this. Jaws, Fright Rags. Fright Rags. Continuing with the theme of Fright Rags. Yeah. Fright Rags is great. The Fright Rags is great. Look at this Fright Rags design. Whoa, that is awesome, man. Orange shirt, Sam. I love that. It <laughs> almost looks like a... Uh, it almost gives me the vibe of like one of the uh, old school uh, horror like wall hanging. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting to. That's why I love it, you know? And it's so great, dude. That's awesome. It's so cool. And you know, bonus points. And I know everyone likes wearing colored shirts. I do. I like orange. I like this shade of orange. Mm -hmm. With me, it's either I, I, I want nothing in between. I want to wear the darkest black or the brightest. Yeah, that's no bright. No in between. That's it's, bright. It's bright orange. <laughs> it it's is. Halloween orange. Super cool, man. It's dope. Love it. Sam. And since we're on the colored shirt train, I want to jump over to another company that we both love. Cavity Colors. That's right. Shout out Cavity Colors. And um, I had to grab this shirt, man. Return of the Living Dead. Look at this, trioxin green. This print, I gotta be honest, there's a lot of Return of the Living Dead shirts and prints out there and I love a, pretty much all of them. This one may actually be one of, if not my favorite. 100% agree. Design I've ever saw, man. I love the way it's, the tar man looks. It's oh, very cool. And I do love that it's trioxin green. Well, I mean, look, Hillary White, I think that's her name, she does awesome. Yeah. With the art. Absolutely. She's phenomenal. Cavity Colors is really... They've got a good artist. They've got a lot of good artists. Yeah, they really do. But I, I agree. Look, the it's texture, like, that screen print. You know, yeah, it's so it's, good. You, it's awesome. Cavity colors is such quality, man. And it you, always is. You know a cavity color You always have a hard time paying the price for them, but you know. It's worth it. You get it, man. You put, you put money in, you get you get that out. Yeah, so Trioxin Green, Return of the Living Dead. Love it. I got cavity colors. You got cavity shirts. colors. Oh, okay. Cavity colors. Since we're doing that theme, right? We are. Check this out. Colored shirt. Let's, let's, let's end the theme with colored shirts. Dude, I'm going to be honest. This might be my favorite shirt you've got. <clears throat> this is a cool shirt. This is from Cavity Colors. Check this out. 
Whoa. Purple. Poiple. 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 That's the Crypt Keeper. That's the Crypt Keeper. He's carving him. a pumpkin. He appears to have made a slight mistake. Well, I, and what would that be? It looks like he cut his fingers, man. Oh, no. You know, you hate it when that happens. He's got a little bit of blood on the pumpkin. You hate when that happens. You know, it happens almost every Halloween. It, they grow back. It does. They that, grow back. They do. They do. But, uh, yeah, bonus points for the, this. And once more, I just gotta say this. Tri-blend. Tri-blend. Whatever it is. Feel, I think it's tri-blend. It feels amazing. It's really soft. There, there is something else to be displayed here, guys. With, with a person, this is a personal favorite. I know this is not really the most highly regarded sequel. It, and I get it. But to me, this movie... <laughs> Halloween 5, this shirt is just, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's one of my favorites. Nah, I gotta be honest, I love it, man. He's got the side. You see so many great scenes from the movie here on There's this. Jamie on the top. Yeah, you got Jamie up there. And, um. It's just dope. Halloween 5, I mean, honestly, I love all the Halloween movies, man. There's, there's, a, there's and, a special place in my heart for all. Yeah. And that includes... Resurrection. Resurrection is awesome. Dude, Resurrection's my jam. I still want that Danger Tainment shirt. Fright Rags. Fright Rags. Hook Fright us up. These, so we, these, <laughs> we are blessed with so many great companies. We are. There's so many companies that have so many dope things. Like, they are. Never running out of shirt designs. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So Cavi Colors, check them out. The next thing I want to show off is something that I was super stoked about, man. We have been looking at this company's designs for a while. And, um... We finally, well, I don't want to spoil your next pick. I don't know if it's going to be it, but I'll just say I finally got something from them. Roosevelt, who makes the most amazing button-ups. It's unreal. It's unreal. Look at this Ghostbusters design, guys. It's called the Tools. It's Look got all at the this. tools. It's got the firehouse. It's got all the Ghostbusters. Surprisingly enough, it has Winston. <laughs> Look at this button-up, man. This is honestly, I'm so stoked about this. This so is soft. And anybody that knows me knows like button ups are my jam. That's yeah. really my favorite like type of shirt. It's like button up, like short sleeve button ups with horror or awesome. like movie stuff on them. Awesome. So I'm really stoked about this. Can't wait to wear it. <sighs> Love this shirt. Thank you, Roosevelt. I mean Roosevelt. <laughs> it's been a long time mistake. Yeah. No, but, Roosevelt is is dope. And, and of course, it's Ghostbusters. It's Ghostbusters. We love Ghostbusters. Yeah. Oh, look at and, that. Uh, not just that. Ghostbusters results. <laughs> <laughs> That's the road of joke, guys. For years, we thought these guys were called results, and we figured out it's Roosevelt's, and everything makes everything, sense. Everything that. makes sense, but yet my brain is still trying to remember Roosevelt. <laughs> but look at this. This is this is Ghostbusters, and it's very different. It's quite the polar opposite of Dad's, being that this has all of the monsters and villains of Ghostbusters. You know what I think? What's that? I think that um, at some point we are going to do the following things. We're gonna get the Ghostbusters 4K disc. We're gonna watch it. We're gonna do a Ghostbusters review because we haven't done one yet. And we'll wear these shirts. We'll, we'll we do it. up on these shirts. Yeah. I mean, this is so cool, man. The fact that yours has all the tools and the team on it. And like, uh, mine's, it, mine's all the villains, man. Mine's got Slimer, Stay Puft, Zool, the Terror Dog. What does that mean? I, I don't know. I guess it means like it's our shirts are almost in combat with each other. <sighs> That's a scary thing. It really is. I hope our shirts start fighting at some point, and uh, we'll see. <laughs> that would be animated. <laughs> it would. <laughs> so, yeah, Roosevelt's, we love you. Awesome. All right, for my next thing I wanted to show off, this is a pretty special one for me. Yeah. Um, as many of you probably know, Criterion does their sale, like, twice a year. People go crazy for it. The 50% off sale. Finally, able to score three movies that I've wanted in the collection for a long time from the Criterion Collection. And um, they're all by one of my absolute favorite directors, David Cronenberg, able to score The Brood, Scanners, and Videodrome. Now these Criterion releases are uh, top of the line cannot wait to pop them in and watch them absolutely um, just love Cronenberg so much and uh, always happy to help I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting closer and closer to com having a complete Cronenberg collection so these were very nice pickups those are crucial pickups absolutely so and uh, they're Criterion man yeah. so you know they're gonna be the best of the best vinyl 
It's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing in my life this past year that is just, it's done a lot. I buy records. Uh, and I, I receive records for Christmas. Uh, yeah. This is, this is cool. This, this is, is amazing. <laughs> it's more than cool, dude. You're underselling it a little bit. All right. Look at this thing. Waxwork Records, brilliant label. For, for those movie music guys out there, look at this. Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Really cool new cover art, which almost looks 3D. It really does, like I man. Just... I feel like that, that handle's about to pop me in the face. Original motion picture soundtrack for the first time on vinyl, which that is true. 180 gram colored double LP. Insert. We love an insert. With director liner notes. Artwork by Christian Bravery. Look at the back. Oh. Dude, Dope. can you show them that gatefold? We'll do the gate. Real, real. We'll do the gatefold. Yeah. We're in no rush. We're in no rush. Uh, if, if anything, I'll cut this part down where I'm opening it in the Look at the, I mean, plus I, I just want to call out there is some nice spot varnish on the cover. I there love is. spot varnish. Spot varnish is a good thing. You know, <laughs> so, it brings but, out details in art. Yeah, that. that is. That's very. That's very old school Friday the Thirteenth. And it is. I, I love that they're all sitting around the campfire. And this like, is a, this Jason is looming. Like the old school era of Friday. Yeah. This this sums it up. It really does. And I just I just love this release, man. I I, I think it's some of the most beautiful packaging I saw on any of the Friday releases. Absolutely. Now so. I haven't had a chance to listen to this yet, but you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you. It probably sounds really good. I mean, have they let you down on any of the Friday releases so they far? They have never let me down on a Friday release. No. Ever. Not yet. So, there you go. Friday the 13th, final chapter. Rules. Alright, and uh, of course, you know, mostly what I was going to get for Christmas was Film. movies because... Straight up films. I love movies, man. <laughs> so, I, I do want to show some more stuff. This will be a movie story. It really will. Um, first off, another Criterion release. David Lynch's Blue Velvet. Look at the packaging. It's awesome. Look at that, man. It's beautiful. You can see Dennis Hopper. It's, it, oh, I love this movie, dude. Something it's, about, you know, you got a David thing going on. Yeah. David Lynch, David Cronenberg. I do, I do. And um, the next thing I want to show off has no Davids in it that I know of, but it is I'm Toby sure Hooper's a, The Fun House. I'm sure there's Screen a David Factory involved release. somewhere as a David. But there has to be, right? right? Key grip. Um, gotta say... This is a film. Now, Luke and I are both huge Toby Hooper fans. This is one that we have it has eluded us for so many years. We've never, we've actually never saw it. No, and it's not like we've been avoiding it. We literally haven't had a chance to watch it. But now we've got a Screen Factory release of it, which yeah. means it's going to look beautiful. Screen Promise Factory you. is the best label in the game, baby. I I'm agree. saying it on paper. No, I agree. On paper, best label in the game. I agree. And um, I mean, this thing. Look at that cover art, Nathan Thomas Milner. It's brilliant. I mean, it I really haven't saw is. the movie, and the art's great. It really is. Man. I can appreciate a so, nice piece by Nathan when I see it. I cannot wait to dig into this. This is going to be watched soon. Oh yeah. Maybe we'll even review it. I you feel know. like we're going to really like it. So, yeah, you know, I do too. It's not too unlikely. A couple more movies I wanted to show off. This one um, is one that I've just, uh, I'm really glad to have it in the collection finally. I don't think you've ever actually saw it. No, I, and, I certainly uh, know the. Uh, <laughs> I know I know a lot about the movie besides the fact I've watched it. I've been told I should watch it. I haven't watched it, all right? Well, I mean, here's the thing. This movie, um, it was such a huge thing. Like, it, like, at the time, I was about your age. Right. And I haven't really watched it in that long. So, so this will be fresh in our memories. Yeah, but The Crow on Blu-ray. So, this is pretty I mean, stoked about that, man. I mean, I've, if nothing else, you got to like this movie for two reasons. Number one, it's Brandon Lee. It's Bruce Lee's son. We love Bruce Lee. But number two, the soundtrack to this movie. I can awesome. comment the soundtrack's fire. Yeah. Now, so. um, now, there's a lot of people out there, just worth knowing. The Crow is some people's favorite movie of all time. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I'm all the way down to check it out, man. I mean, I know uh, our buddy Lee McCoy loves this movie. Lee McCoy. Ninja. Uh, Jamie Ninja, Marshall. Ninja. Jamie Marshall. AB. Ninja. So, yeah. I mean, we'll the see. Crow. I mean, hopefully you'll like it. I know I liked it back in the day. Um, looking forward to seeing yeah. if it holds up. I'm excited. And another one that I wanted to show off, 
This is a pretty cool one. This is nothing new to either of us, because... E.T., you know, man. Look at this lenticular cover. 4K release. Look at the back. Look at the back. E. It's perfect, man. The E.T. phone home. This is a, one of my favorite movies. Uh, same here. Ever. This movie's so good. And uh, this is a 4K release, and it's uh, really nice. It actually came with... I do want to show this off. Sorry, I'm off camera for a moment. But I do want to show this off because uh, it actually... Not only did you get the 4K release, which uh, this That's cover cool, art... It's a cool image. It's a very cool cover art on that as well. But you get this nice booklet. Yeah. And you can see it's a, you know, full of photos and like essays and what have you. That's awesome. Look at the back with the, the, the oh, yeah. UFO. That's awesome. And then also... You get the John Williams score and on my, CD. My man, you can't go wrong with JW. Now, you tell me. Is there a... And look at this uh, sturdy slipcase. It reminds me of the slipcase with the 2001 yep, that's, that, and the uh, Jaws 4Ks it's, it's, are in. It's very similar to those. And, uh, so, I mean... Uh, yeah. I'm truly amazed. This is actually a super cool release. I'm super stoked to have it. Uh, so, E.T. Vinyl. Vinyl? Movie vinyl. You know, that's all I brought. I got a lot of vinyl, but I'm just doing, you know, horror movie oh, vinyl. God, I love this one. Mondo Death Waltz. This is a score that I love. This is a movie that I love. I'm not going to stretch as far to say that people don't love this movie because I think people really love this movie. Mm -hmm. That's Halloween 4. Um, that cover art is ridiculous. Gary Poland, man. He killed the art. No pun intended. Look at this, uh, dude. It's beautiful. <laughs> I mean, it's stinking gorgeous. I love the, the back piece, too. Oh, yeah, you got Jamie. You got Loomis with his weird <laughs> scar face. Uh, scar face Loomis? Yeah. I don't mm. know. It's, it's still trying to figure out how a stroke gives you a scar. <laughs> I, or, I don't know. It don't matter. But, it, I'll show the gatefold. Yeah. I don't I mean, see any harm in that. No. I'm, I'm telling you, man. This, this is another beautiful one. Look at that. It's making me mad that I can't see it right now because I love it. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that, dude. He's just looming. He's looming. He's loomising. He's loomising. <laughs> but, uh, this is dope. Yeah, this it is. This is a, um, you can get it on Mondo, Mondo News, Mondo Shop. I don't know what, they, they, they changed their site name a few times, but Mondo. You, if you know horror, you probably know Mondo. Yeah. But, you know, you can get this. It's of course, uh, this is a A24 film that neither of us have saw yet, but we got the 4K of Ex Machina. I'm excited to watch this. Super excited to watch this, man. Um, I've heard nothing but good things. Everyone loves this movie, and I have a feeling that this is one that's really going to shine on 4K. Yeah. So, I mean, it won Best Visual Effects at the Oscars, right? Yeah. So, that's going to have to translate pretty good to 4K. So, Ex Machina. Next up is a comedy classic. Here's a movie that I watched growing up on DVD all the time. Did you know this is the first time this was ever on Blu-ray, according to the uh, sticker? Wow, look at that hype sticker. Yeah, it's uh, actually yeah. awesome. I'm going to have to keep the hype stick. sticker. you got to keep the hype sticker. Yeah, but um, Robin Williams and Shelley Duvall, Popeye. And look at that hype sticker. It is really cool. It's I got love, a little can I of love spinach. this movie. Um, it's so dope. So a lot of you may not know I me. Mean, I know... Most of you know I'm a huge Disney fan. We're huge Disney fans. And um, I love animation in general. Yeah. But next to like the Disney animated family of characters, my very favorite like animated character is Popeye. Yeah. I love Popeye. And, uh, that whole love universe this. is just the best. Yeah. And I love this movie. And I'm super... I didn't even... I gotta be honest. I don't know that I even knew this was on Blu-ray. I was and, not uh, aware of that at all. And uh, Momo Cosby... The Shout legend. out. The legend. If Cosby watching, the Great. If you're watching. I mean, I don't think you're watching. Cosby the Great. Cosby the Great. Hook me up with this. So, thank you so much. I love this. That's awesome. Next up, one of mine from uh, Blue Turtle Grass, Arson Brother Matt, A.B. Matt. The That's the man. me up with uh, one of my jams that I love, man. Same Some sci-fi goodness. And uh, hook me up with the 4K of T2, Judgment Day. So T2 is... It's my heart. Do, you know what's crazy is I, this was one that I just watched for the first time, what, like a year and a half? I finally ago. got him to watch it. Like, and I fell in love with it. Okay, let, let's let me quick little thing. We're here. We're here for the you know long haul. Whatever. If you're here at this point, if you're, 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 
here. Dad had watched Terminator 1, what, years ago? Oh, God, when I was a kid. Watched, and you said you liked it, but you never really, you know, fell in love with T1. Right. And I was like, Dad, T2 is like a country mile better. And you're like, yeah, that's cool. I finally <laughs> sat him down. I was like, Dad, let me show you T2. And it blew his mind. It did, man. Here's the crazy thing. I like T1, but I think T2 blows it out of the water. You know, the crazy thing is I somehow lived through the hype of this movie. Like when it was out, I didn't watch it. So I don't know. I think it was one of those like me just trying to be contrarian. Yeah. Well, it, that happens. It happens. You go through the those stages. Things. But uh, Dude, anyhow, so, so glad and I'm super stoked. So thanks, Matt. And uh, a cool gift here. There's another one that neither of us have watched. That's right. I think it's going to shine on 4K, especially with this new surround sound that we'll talk about in a minute. But John Wick. Um, Keanu Reeves I'm, I'm shooting everything, this. shooting all the things. This for a long time. Um, yeah, man. I mean, I've heard so many good things about these movies, and uh, I have a feeling this may be the kin to uh, this might send us down a path of checking out the other two yeah. as well. But super hyped on this, and uh, thank you, Joy. So, good gifts all around, man. This is just uh, awesome stuff. Loving all these 4K releases and pop on Blu-ray. I mean, come on. Pop so, Couple more records. Last two, I promise. I promise. Okay. Um, these are both from Mondo Death Waltz. And again, such a bomb label. Yeah. Check this out. John Williams, amazing score to Jurassic Park. And I will say, I did listen to this one with you. He did listen to it. I loved it. It's so it good. It sounds awesome. And I love format. that cover art. There's something about it that, like, every time I look at it, it just gives me the same vibe. It takes vibe. me to that place. It, it's nostalgia, man. Like, I just love it so much. But, that's uh, awesome, dude. That's a great release. I know this one is crazy. This is the Christmas gift that, that was arriving late. It arrived today, as yeah. of recording. <laughs> yeah. And that is Evil Dead. Evil Dead 1. A Nightmare re uh, Reimagined. Not re-recorded, almost. Yeah, it is re-recorded, but it's called A Nightmare Reimagined. And who composed this? Joe LaDuca. It's not Graham Humphrey? Well, it's not Graham Humphrey. <laughs> Artwork by the Graham gorgeous Humphrey. Graham Humphrey. Yeah. Who is one of my favorite artists of horror, honestly. Yeah, honestly. He so does great work. Look at that. The Obi strip, you know, that's not part of the cover, but look at that. Look awesome. on the back. Yeah. I love that so much. I'm a huge Evil Dead franchise fan. It's one of my favorite franchises. Mm -hmm. I love Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness, but I think Evil Dead 1 has a vibe. That it's cannot, my favorite. It can't be touched. So, yeah. This one's going to be some crime movies and a little bit of a, um, what I'm, I'm assuming is going to be a really depressing war movie. But, oh boy. Uh, That's just what we needed this winter. Yeah. But uh, first of all, of course, now this is one that I've already checked out. Luke checked it out with me. Cannot say enough good things about this. Scarface on 4K. Wow. Once more, thank you, Matt. Um, this thing is gorgeous. On every aspect. Sound is so well designed. 3D sound, it's amazing. It really is. Um, next up, one that Luke hasn't saw yet. I watched this on Netflix last year. Fell in love with it. Scorsese, my favorite. Or Scorsese, Scorsese. I mean, you say Scorsese, I say Scorsese. I mean, don't and I say Paint Larry, and you <laughs> say Paint <Larry. laughs> Either way. Um, had to pick this up, dude. The Criterion release of The Irishman. Look at the art. I can sure comment on that being beautiful. Oh my god, it's amazing, dude. Uh, Criterion, once more coming through. Criterion. And uh, I'm super pumped to show this to Luke. And I'm super pumped to watch it again and see what Criterion pulled off on this yeah. beautiful release. And uh, this Steelbook. Look at this, man. FYE exclusive Steelbook of Al Pacino in Brian De Palma's Carlito's Way. Love the steelbook. That's a beautiful steelbook. It's like a matte finish. Yeah, it's got like a matte finish. Uh, it's like shiny at the same time. And uh, this is a... So I got two De Palma Pacino. and Pacino <laughs> collaborations. And uh, I'm pretty stoked about that, man. I love this movie. And last but not least, uh, I do want to show off another Criterion. <laughs> this is one that um, I've heard a lot of buzz about. This movie, um, I think it was originally released... Well, I'm not going to sit here and read all that. It was released you'll a, end up like me trying yeah. to read the Evil Dead. It was released a while back, and uh, this thing finally got this Criterion release. And um, a lot of people say this is one of the most uh, heart-wrenching anti-war movies ever filmed, even though it is a war movie, but it shows the horrors of war in a very real way. This is going to be an intense watch, I can already tell. This is a film by um, Elam Klimov. 
sorry if I butchered your name, but I really doubt you're watching this. <laughs> that would be really weird. Criterion release of Come and See. Really pretty cover art. Yeah. Uh, super stoked on this. I've heard a lot of good things. And, um, yeah, super stoked to watch it. Um, I'm sure it's really going to be depressing. <laughs> but, uh, I, you know, got to watch it, man. And uh, so, yeah, that's that. This is Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, 4K. Whoa. Oh Which is one of my favorite Star Wars movies, you know? I'm not afraid to say it. I can't wait to watch that on 4K. Heck yeah. That's going to be awesome. Love that movie. We're huge Star Wars nerds. I We're mean, fans of all Star Wars. All Star Wars. All Star Wars. <laughs> and this is one. We already checked out one of the movies on it. Bill and Ted, three film, Blu-ray set. It it's doesn't a, get much better than that. It's got the new one. I can't wait to watch it. I'm very excited to watch it. We watched the first movie the other night. Excellent showed it to adventure. Macy for the first time. It's awesome. It, it holds it's, up. It's so good. Dude. It's such a great movie. Timeless classic. In fact, uh, I think right now we should do something. Let's do it. And this In is honor our, of Bill and Ted. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, uh... That, that, yeah, that happened. Yeah. That happened. So, yeah, uh, I'll show you. you don't have anything else to do aside from the uh, no, no, okay. no, 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 no I'll just throw these in this is from London 1888 or is it 19, it's, 1988 it's, it's 1888 yeah yeah shout out to Timmy <laughs> dad's face is I mean my face too but we're just we're here there's way cooler art going on though way cooler than my face <laughs> or mine <laughs> um this is awesome. It's super NES awesome. Jason man. shirt. This is my first product from London. I really like it. I mean, you and your friends are dead. Game over. Your children. Mark Healthbar is done for. Yeah, dude. Which was very apt because this game is near impossible. Oh, to play. It's, yeah. <laughs> I've but, tried. It, it, it's just a dope shirt, man. Super sick. I'm, I can guarantee you. I want to uh, get some shirts from London, especially. I've yeah. always loved their designs, but after seeing it in person, like I'm really impressed. Right. This is fun. Um, you horror hotties fans, and I know you're out there. You are. Um, check this out. Krampus Hellfire Hot Sauce. Show them that up close, man. That bottle Let me tell you why I think this is awesome. is because we've never had a hot sauce directly horror movie theme. No. So what are we going to do whenever we have to pair it with the movie? Yeah. Krampus. Well, that's, that's awesome. And it's Hellfire. We love Krampus. We love Hellfire. And we love hot sauce. No, this is the thing that uh, I think somehow we'll have... I think so. Some involvement. Yeah. Horror Ultimate Edition Trivial Pursuit. This is awesome. This is a very nice, like, you know, box to hold all this in. I haven't dove into this. We haven't dove into this, but this looks awesome. It really does. I'm super stoked to play it. And uh, If you would like to somehow, I don't know if it'd be a live stream, a video, or what, would you like to see the backroom voice phase off in Trivial Pursuit? The pressure would be on. It would be. <laughs> I just want to quickly shout out, this was a... Just wanted to say, just because I'm wearing it, but I do want to say um, a big shout out to our boys, uh, uh, Paul Bear Press, Absolutely. Craig. That's right. Man, I got this shirt. I ordered it like literally like two days before Christmas. It was a ten dollar drop. Look at this They Live shirt. I don't know if you can. Uh, look at the. Look at how dope that is. Man. Got the policeman holding the child's hand. And then the, and the. Yeah. So, uh, Paul Bear from Press. From out of face. Paul Bear Press. I love Paul Bear Press. Like, I don't know what to say. I love, I, I love going to their booth at cons. Oh, God, I do too, man. It's one of the best, man. And, and Craig's always got the dope record haul. Craig, Craig's just, yeah, Craig's so, dope. Craig, so Craig knows out. his stuff, man. He does, dude. That's what I respect about Paul Bear Press. They know their stuff. They do. So, just, I mean, I had to show, this was kind of a present to myself. Because I ordered <laughs> But I did want to show it off. The $10 because, shirts happen often, yes. They do. you got to be following you them gotta, on Instagram. You watch. Turn on you post notifications. Them, jump on that, because they're... So worth it, I'm telling you. I've, I've never had a bad experience with every every shirt I own from Paul Bear Press are my favorite horror shirt. Yeah, so I mean that's and that's a shoot. So there you go. But I just had to shout. No that endorsement. Out. No. Last but not least, far from least, I want to say this is a huge deal. This yeah. might actually be my favorite. I would agree. Just because of this the, the formality of you know that we're dueling these. <laughs> and so the, cool. You know, I gotta say a huge shout out to my. Lovely daughter, my younger sister, Macy Bell. Um, you should, you know, <laughs> you on the show. off chance that you are watching this and you are a horror fan, and you also happen to like Ty Beanie Booze, you go check Ty out Collector. her and her friends' channel, Sky Beanie Booze. 
That if you're a, shout if out, you're a Mason top plush collector and they're there, they're out there. <laughs> they are There's out way there. more of them than us. Uh, yeah. Subscribe. But anyhow, uh, I, I, so I had to put a little plug in for her. But I um, wanted to show what she got us for Christmas. because There was we a lot of thought these. put into this. There was. But um, she got us some new coffee mugs. And she hooked me up with Freddy Krueger. She hooked Luke up with Sam. First of all, that shows that she knows her taste. Yeah. And she even said, she told me she got me this one because she was like, I could have got you a couple different ones, but I know that like you don't see as much like Freddy, like coffee mugs and stuff. It's a strange state and of things, but that's true. It looks so cool, and I love that the handle is the, that's the sweater best. stripes. So, uh, you know, I've been drinking coffee out of this all night, actually. Are you are you the body in the cups of burns? I, I am. <laughs> and then she knows Luke loves trick or treat. One and of look at this beautiful man. mug. This is a piece of art. It really is. They both are. Old, yeah, exactly. These are amazing. The orange on the bottom. This is really cool. So I gotta say, I mean, honestly, this is one of, if not my favorite, Christmas present this year. So with that, we're just gonna say, first of all, thank you, Macy. Um, I'm gonna say thank you to, I mean, I didn't name everybody that got me all these. I didn't. Huge thank you. If you got me a gift, if you sent me a message, the horror tubers that said, you know, Merry Christmas, that was awesome. Yeah. I wish you guys the best. And you guys are awesome, and I'm glad to be taking you into this next year with me. Absolutely. And there's like, and like you said, there's a lot of gifts I didn't show in this just because they maybe wasn't movie related. That doesn't mean I didn't love them. I loved every single gift I got this year. Yeah. Um, but we were just showing off some of our movie related stuff in this right. video. But um, just, you know, we want to take a moment to really thank you guys. And as we head into this new year... Um, just look for a lot of fun content from the channel and uh, we're just uh, you know you just keep hanging in there with us we're gonna keep doing stuff if you're here and you like this video there's a lot of our friends you'd probably like too we're gonna say go over and shout out and uh, I'm sorry go over and subscribe to the Arson Brothers Network um, you actually see us on a lot of those videos as well doing um, our stupid thing doing our stupid thing and uh, speaking of doing your thing that's a very nice, very nice. Go over and segue. get a, a, a subscribe to our boy. Do your thing, cuz. That's right. Hey, that you'll see us there again. Yeah, uh, lots. We're and uh, this guy does a place. podcast with you. I Chris, still don't know who he is. No, nah, I don't know. And uh, you know, we, we spoke about Christian earlier. Give Christian Hannah a horror. You probably subscribe. Know you probably already <laughs> subscribed to him because he's a mega star at this That's point. Right. He's a he's a shooting star. In my eyes, Christian is Superman. It, it, I agree. That's right. And speaking of Daisuke, Daisuke Beppu, Beppu. we love you, Daisuke. Go that's ahead. the Criterion guy. Yeah, that's the, he's the awesome. dude. Shut and up. Th we could go on forever. And uh, we love there's YouTube. so many people. We love so many YouTubers. And um, we just you know go over and support all these guys. But um, we thank you all so much. We hope you had an awesome Christmas. And you're going to have a great New Year. I promise. You are. Because you're, you're hanging in the back room. And you're man. awesome. Yeah. So, in the meantime... If you're out there and you're looking for a gift and you're not sure if you've been naughty or nice, maybe that gift is under the tree, but maybe the real gift was hid somewhere deep in the recesses of the back room. <laughs>